Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool rotary desk telephone. It's a 202 with an E1 handset and this is Reed's equipment from North Carolina and he has a note with his telephone and he's talking about how there's a lot of static when you talk on this telephone and also about the spit cup having a crack in it and some chips which this is the initial checkout of this telephone and so basically what's going to happen here with this handset is probably should go ahead and use this cap because if you find this handset, they're really not going to want to part with just the spit cup. They're going to want to sell the whole handset. So it's not really all that bad and it gives you some time to locate another handset down the road. These E1 handsets are pretty hard to get a hold of. But what you really want to take care of, because this is removable, you know, you can just unscrew it and screw it back on but chances are you'll just find the handset and not the cap. This is more of an issue. We want to take care of the fraying going on in the cloth cord here and there's a repair for that so we'll get that squared away. We also want to talk about the base of the telephone itself. We have it apart. The rotary is working but we want to go through that and oil clean and adjust this. This telephone has been converted at one time and so someone has put a PC board inside the telephone and a piezo buzzer. The piezo buzzer is going to stay but we also want to repair this board. Whoever installed this board closed the telephone up and broke this component here on the board. So we want to repair the board. It's actually broken half and that was where the static was coming from with this piece moving back and forth and making contact and then no contact so it was causing a lot of issues. We want to go through this board and repair it and then we want to just take a look at everything because it has been converted by somebody and I want to make sure that uh, what they've done here uh, can be repaired and uh, you know usable so we want to go ahead and take a short break and we'll get some more video of this telephone as we move forward in the repair. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, We're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone. We're going to run through a little bit about what went on. We went into the rotary, oiled, cleaned and adjusted the rotary, made sure all of our connections were proper. We also went to the main circuit board that someone installed when they converted this telephone and that has been repaired. We also found some uh, connections that were not proper for that board and so that was repaired. So that upped the transmit and the receive. But you have to remember something on this transmitter and receiver. They're not like a modern day telephone. The receiver is like the old style wooden wall or uh, candlestick telephones. It has a metal plate as a diaphragm, so it's going to sound a little tinny. It's an old handset. You know, you're looking at something that's about, you know, 75, 80 years old, and it's not going to sound like a new phone because in the letter, Reed kind of refers to some of the issues. Um, on the receive side, we increase the volume, but it's always going to have that sound of a metal diaphragm. There's nothing you can do about that. So the transmitter was also looked at. We installed some heat shrink where the fraying was going on for the cloth cord, so that's been taken care of. So it's not always moving in one spot there and causing the fray to get worse. So that's been taken care of. So now what we're going to do is start our final checks. And I want to go ahead and ring the telephone. Now this telephone had a piezo buzzer installed into the unit 
and so it doesn't have a bell and you're just going to hear a piezo buzzer. So we'll go ahead and ring the unit. We're going to let that go a few times. I'm going to let it go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. We're going to walk through our numbers if you watch the analyzer. You watch the numbers roll by. The rotary is a lot more smooth now. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has transmit and receive. We can go ahead and push this button on the switch box, and that gives us a line out. And we're going to call a time and temp number. Now they're having some issues with their equipment. You'll hear the recording start. You'll hear a hum, and then the recording will continue. That's on their end. has nothing to do with what we're doing here. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll call that number. Good evening. Today is Tuesday, June 10th. The time is 11.19. Current temperature at 70 degrees. Mostly cloudy tonight. Showers diminishing along the low 60s. Wednesday, mostly cloudy in the morning with a chance of showers. Partly cloudy in the afternoon, a high in the mid-70s. Okay. We can call one other number. We can call my number, and it'll be busy. We'll give you some dial tone. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Reed and he can enjoy this telephone again. It's a very cool 202 with an E1 handset. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.